Today I'm going to be talking about a cognitive distortion called filtering, which may be something that you're doing all the time without even being aware that you're doing it. Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to continue our video series on cognitive distortions or biased ways of thinking that can contribute to depression and anxiety. This video is going to be focusing on something we call filtering, which relates to how we process information in the world around us. But before I get into that, just a couple of disclaimers to go over. I'm a registered psychologist in the province of British Columbia, Canada. And this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a substitute or replacement for advice from your doctor or mental health professional. Now with those things out of the way, let's start talking about filtering. Now filtering is something we do all the time, every day, all the time. We're constantly bombarding with, uh, we're constantly being bombarded with, all kinds of informa information that's coming to us through our senses. We, we can't possibly pay attention to all of it. And so what we end up doing is we screen out a lot of that information and, and only pay attention to a little bit of the information that we're getting that seems important. So for example, right now you're probably listening to my voice and watching this video. You're paying attention to the information that seems most relevant or important to you. Now, what you're probably not paying attention to is the light in the background or the picture of the rainbow or the feeling of your feet on the floor. Uh, but now that I've pointed out some of those things, you probably notice them more and are far more aware of them. They were always there. You just weren't paying attention to them because they didn't seem relevant. But now that I've pointed them out, there's some increased relevance. And so you actually notice them and recognize these things that a few moments ago you weren't paying any attention to. We're filtering information all the time. And this is a normal part of life. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's something we do all the time, which makes us a bit more efficient to allow us to focus on what's important. But in depression, what can happen is that uh, with filtering, you start to pay attention only to the negative things in life and you filter out any of the neutral or the positive things. So, when you think about your relationship, all you think about is the disagreements and the arguments with your partner. When you think about your performance at work, all you think about is the missed deadlines and the mistakes that you've made. So what can end up happening is that as you filter out this positive and neutral information in your life, all you're left with is the negative stuff and all you can focus on and think about are the negative things in your life. So what do you think that does to a person's mood? Well, this can result in depression getting worse. Understandably, it makes sense. It can also lead to poor self esteem, uh, unhealthy pessimism, these are all things that can result in even more negative filtering and it drives a negative spiral of mood downward. Now the thing about the negative filtering is it also relates to your mood itself. So when you think about your mood, if you're engaging in this negative filtering, when you think about your mood, all you can think about, all you can remember is the times that you felt down and depressed as all of the times where you felt content or happy, they all get filtered out as well. So all you think about is negative stuff. And all you can think about is all the times you've experienced depression. 
So as you filter out these positives, it doesn't even matter that there are positives in your life because you're not even aware that those positives are there. So there are positives, but it's almost like it doesn't even matter if there were because I'm not even recognizing the positives exist. See, the thing is we only respond emotionally to the things that we pay attention to. And if all I pay attention to are the negative things, the negative stuff, my life is going to feel like it's nothing but this pile of negativity. And I'm going to feel more depressed. And as a result, life becomes unrelentlessly bleak and depressing. So you can see how this filtering can just lead to this spiraling of uh, low mood and leading to more filtering. And it just really drives your mood and how you feel downwards. So what can you do about this? What can you do about filtering? Well, the first step, like with all of these cognitive distortions I'm talking about, is you need to be aware that you're actually engaging in filtering. You need to recognize that you're doing it. And that with depressed mood, it means that I'm more likely, it's more likely than not that I'm filtering out a lot of the positives. So recognizing that the filtering and my low mood is causing me to not see a lot of things in my life that might be positive. Um, the example I, I like to use with my clients to sort of to sort of demonstrate this is to imagine I was looking at the Mona Lisa. And as I'm looking at the Mona Lisa, all I'm doing is focusing on the nose. And I say to myself, well, how is this good art? How is this such wonderful art? It, it's just a nose. See, as long as I just focus on one small part of it, I, I lose a sense of the bigger picture and I don't see it for what it is. I just see it for being a nose. That's similar to what happens with filtering. So when you catch yourself filtering, the idea is to, to imagine yourself zooming out. So you're not just staring at the Mona Lisa's Lisa's nose, you zoom out and you pay attention to the whole picture. Think about using a wider lens and expanding uh, your perception and your, your focus on what exactly you're focusing on. So it's not just one aspect of it, but a much wider picture to ensure that you're not just filtering out uh, a whole bunch of stuff and paying attention to just a few of the negatives. So uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas about filtering. If you notice yourself doing it or if you have any questions about it, please leave me some comments in the comments section down below. If you're enjoying my videos and would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell and you'll be alerted every week when I post a new video. So that's all for uh, this week's video. As always, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one.